Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my Hoot Crew. Hope you're all having a great day. Today is Blind Bay Basket Day, which we haven't had in a while. Yay! Okay, so this is going to be the last Blind Bay Basket Day I do for a bit, only just because of funding. Um, it's kind of been hard, and um, I got a lot of things I got to mail out. So, anyways let's get right to it the first thing that we have is this cupcake surprise i had a little one quite a while ago and i saw this in the store and i thought you know what i want to see what these big ones are like and everything else so i grabbed it i did get this one from toys r us and and kids if you need help opening things make sure that you ask a parent for help um, I'm using a plastic knife, so let's get this out of here and see what we got. So, there we go. It comes with this little brush, which is really, really cute. And like that. So, and then it looks like a little cupcake, but you take off the top. And inside is... Do -do -do -do. This cute little girl and you just pull down her dress and fix it around the little cupcake liner and there you go look at that now you can leave her hair in the little ponytail that they have the hair is very soft and look at that cute little face she is adorable and she's got a nice little skirt very pretty crinoline on here and this here actually turns into a hat for her so that is your cupcake surprise and when you want to put her away you just fold up the back uh, fold it back up just like this tuck her back inside with her hair and everything and just pop the top back on and can put her away on a shelf or a collector case or whatever you have and there you go so that's our first thing so our next thing that we have is one of these Bucky girls I love these little things I think they're so cute I got this one at Walmart um, I th think you can still get them at Toys R Us as well and uh, stuff like that so they're really really cute you can get the bigger dolls now and um, the smaller dolls are really, really cute as well. But you can get the bigger dolls who come with bigger things, obviously, bigger things. But um, yeah. So this one here, she is super cute. Let me get her out first. She does come tied in, but she's kind of easy to get out. So here she is. I don't know her name yet. And she's got cute little blue shoes that are removable. The dress is also removable. She does have pretty pink underwear on. And she's got a nice little blue bow in her hair. Lipstick and everything. Cute little. She's very cute. Almost like reminiscent of mini Barbies or Polly Pockets. If you guys remember those from back in the day. I used to have uh, mini Barbies were my favorite. But uh, I was never a fan of Barbie. Uh, that's just me though. So in these little boxes. It comes. It looks like an actual like packed box which I think is adorable um, and it comes all packed instead of packing peanuts just little shredded pieces of tissue paper and in here for her we have a little purse so let's see if I can get a better shot of that there we go cute little purse I think that's adorable and she can hold that just put it on this hand and she can walk around with that in her hand and Next little box, we have more tissue paper. Oh, 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 she's got some pretty awesome looking little shoes in here. These are really, really cute. And in case you can hear my kids, they are playing uh, Smash Brothers Brawl. They get very loud and opinionated when they're playing, so please forgive them. But there are the little gold shoes. They are really pretty. They have an itty bitty of a heel on them and everything. I think that's really cute. So there we go. We'll put that all in one bag. 
and in the last little box let's see what we have and the thing is good with these this tissue paper this is recyclable so make sure you recycle them and this is another little purse but isn't that adorable look at that it's like a little melon purse it kind of matches her bow a little bit but not too much but look at that and she can use this one as well she can walk around with that that is adorable i think that's so cute these are actually really good and you can keep the little boxes because the things are so tiny one little box will do and you can keep your accessories in you can even take these shoes off and put them inside and your dress keep everything in a box if that's the way you want to store things i think that's a terrific idea that they gave these little boxes and whatever is left over you can recycle so great packaging i'm really happy with that the next thing is something we're all familiar with squish delish um i found this one at toys r us um i'm not sure it says this is series five um i'm not sure uh what series um i re i picked this up recently so i guess this is the most recent one um i have not bought this series yet so let's see and they had them at my dollar store as well which is like <gasps> yay i got the little it's like a little snow cone that's what it looks like to me on the package it could be an ice cream cone Oh, this one smells good. Oh, I like the smell of this one. This one's good. I like this one. Isn't she cute? And it's the same one that's on the package right there. So I'm really happy with that. That's so cool. And is she slow or fast rising? She's a fast riser. Yay. But there's really cute. And it doesn't smell bad. It's a Shopkins one. So that's really cute. I do not know the name. If you know the name to this Shopkins, please let me know in the comments down below. Because I would love to remember. Uh, the next thing I have I'm going to pull out is doo -doo -doo -doo. this is the Shopkins Little Real Littles. Now, you know, these are the name brand Real Little guys. Um, I have quite a few of these already, um, but I didn't have like the freezer and fridge section ones that they had brought out, the freezer ones mainly. So I was really looking for it and I found these at the dollar store. Now you can get the big packages at Toys R Us or Walmart or whatever, but these ones, I really wanted to get one of the little ones. I do have a couple of them. Oh, I think I got a good one. I don't think I have this one. And in here is our checklist just for these individual packages. You can get quite a few in it. So uh, there's ice cream, Klondike bars, everything. We have the Popsicles collection, the ice cream snacks, the ice cream tubs. And on the back, we have the frozen meals, frozen pies, slushies. Ooh, I want to get all those slushies. Those look super cool. Uh, the mini meals, the breakfast, the breakfast ones. And then you have your uh, limited edition ones which is King Cone Choco Pie Choco Waffle. So those are the limited edition ones. And there's over 40 to get. So we have a pie. So which, let's see, here's the container, which I think is really, really cute. This is a Marie Callender's uh, pie, which we don't get these out here. I've never seen one in our grocery store freezer section. And it's a little container. These are perfect if your kids wanna play uh, store or something like that you can set them all up in their individual little containers the kids can buy them and pretend they're buying real groceries i think it's just awesome so here we go look at that it looks like a key lime pie isn't that cool now you're not always going to get the same thing that they show with the actual pot package sometimes i think you pretty much do but you can get random ones for each case because some of them there's three or four for each so look at that, it's got the whipped cream all nicely done on top, kind of like the McCain Pies whipped cream. So look at that. So this little guy's name is King Lime Pie. So this is King Lime Pie and his little crown, basically, <laughs> and his little lime. That's awesome, I like it. Now, some of these have like the little Shopkins things stamped on them, but I'm not seeing this on here. I do, I do see the Moose Toys logo, but this does not have the... Sh oh, yes, it does. Look at it. It's right there. I didn't even see it. It's a little S for Shopkins. So we'll put him right back in here and move on to our next thing. 
All right. And the next thing I have, I have a couple of these in here. I picked them up at Claire's. And I saw um, uh, Biggs and Lil's open these. And I really was interested in opening them. Because I love having chapstick in my purse at all times and stuff like that. But I just thought they were adorable because I can give them away to my niece. The little girls in the neighborhood here, they really are, um, they like little things like this. So they're called Pucker Pops, but they are blind bag Pucker Pops. So on the back, it shows four possible ones you can get. There's a peach, uh, a pineapple, a banana, and a cherry. Uh, yep. So let's see which one we got in this one. Oh, oh, cool. Look at that. It's a little cherry. And see, this stays on here. This is on here. And this is like a little cap. You can put it on your keychain so you have it with you at all times. Hang it off your purse, whatever. But this, sometimes it's hard to get off. It's not that hard. But there you go. It comes right off so that you can use it. It does lock on quite well. So it shouldn't open in your purse. Mind you, we all know how things work sometimes. They do what we don't want them to do. <laughs> So just open it up like this and inside, oh, that smells so good. It's not too strong. It's a little glittery, as you can see. It smells really, really good, but it is a subtle cherry smell. And on here, as you can see, there's little lines. You just click it in and it stays. So there you go. So that's super cute. So we got the cherry one. Yay. All right. So I'm going to open one another thing. And like I said, this is going to be the last one I'm going to be doing for a while. Um, so uh, I'm doing, I'm, I've emptied out my drawer. And the next time we do one, I'll have a full drawer again. Uh, I can't wait. So uh, it might be a while. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. But anyways. All right. This is Mona the Vampire. Um, sorry, I didn't show that. This is Mona the Vampire, and it is a cartoon that is on Treehouse, as far as I know, or on YTV, I'm not too sure. But she comes with her little house, which is super, super cool. It's well detailed, and it's a storage case. And inside is a checklist. I'm not going to look at the character yet, because I'd like to see the checklist. So here's your checklist. This is Mona, right here. And uh, this is a limited edition Mona, or a rare Mona. It's called Ghoul Girl Vampires. So that's a very limited edition or rare one. So I think we have Edgar. Now it's written very tiny, so I think it says Edgar. I'm not too sure if I got too close there. And yep, we do, we have Edgar. He is one of the characters, obviously. And there he is. He has a little stand attached to him so you can store him on a shelf, display them if you want to, or you can put him back in here and you can use this as a display case and just store him, right? Store him up on your shelf or keep him in here to keep him safe with all your other stuff. That's awesome. I love that. That is really nice. Okay, into the bar, we have another Pucker Pop. Now, this one comes with strawberry, grape, blueberry, and vanilla. But look at how cute these are. Like, these are perfect for your little nieces and nephews, stocking stuffers and stuff like that. You get them at Claire's. Um, that's where I got mine. It's the only place I was able to find them. So, let's see who we have in here we have oh we have the grape one look at he's a little wolf isn't he cute with little stars in his eyes oh that's so cute and purple of course is my favorite color you guys know that because purple rocks all right so we take off the top and yes there is always a stuck a sticker here if you find these sold because they do sell them individually with like funky hair and stuff like that if you find when you open it that it is missing the sticker wrap do not take it oh that smells okay i like that so there it is purple with a little bit of glittery in it so if that's really good i like that this one is not closing right for some reason but that's okay we put it back in our case and there we go 
I'm gonna keep it, keep it for the next one. So the next thing I have is this. We have one of these Lost Kitties Mice Mania. Now they did this a while ago. Um, I have to see if I can open this without cutting. No, I'm gonna have to cut it. All right, and we'll get this guy out. Now, um, the checklist is up in the top. Like I said, get an adult for help if you can't get this stuff out. Your checklist is in the top half in this part. So don't throw this part away. Your checklist is inside it. So you don't lose that. So here is our checklist. Woo! And let's not look at our sticker because our sticker gives it away. So there you go. That's all the mice you can collect. And this you can keep as a poster for your wall. Afterwards, you have your so cute, your mood, your got skills, cheese please, pocket pal. And it has super rare, rare, possum and popular Play-Doh. So you can tell what kind of guy you got by your Play-Doh drops here. And up here, it shows the Play-Doh drops to tell you what kind of thing you got. So let's open this. Look at that cute little face. That is so cute. Now, it opens like um, like one of those cheese things. You pull the string off, whatever. This opens like this, pulls it off, and that's it. So that can go in the recycle bin. All right. So let's open this up. If I can get it off. <laughs> All right and pull okay oh almost got oh we got orange cheese so it means we have a possum so he's not a normal but he's not a rare or limited edition so there is the play-doh that shows that we have a possum one hashtag possum and i will throw that back in because i don't like the smell of play-doh i think it's gross i'm sorry guys but i really i never have great now it's all in my hands um <laughs> i never really have like the smell of play-doh uh, just for some reason, it smells gross. I don't know. But let's see who we got in here. Ugh, there's more. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know why. I just never really liked the smell of Play-Doh. I never got over it. So I don't, I've never played with it. And then, mm -mm. All right. Ooh, he's so cute. He's a little chef guy. Okay, so we have, let's look. We have in the hashtag got skills, we have cheesecake. So his name is cheesecake. So I guess he's making a cheesecake. Who knows? Um, but look at him. He's so cute. He's got his little tail. This will keep him balanced if you want to store him on a shelf or whatever. Display him. Look at him. He is so cute with his little spatula, his little cheese. And I don't know what that is on top of the cheese. It could be mold. It could be an olive. It could be a worm. We don't know. Because it's Swiss cheese. See? Swiss cheese. My favorite. Okay. <laughs> so it does come with a stucker. A st stucker. Stucker. Sticker. Um, cooking like a boss. So here we are. That's the little sticker that comes with it. So if you're going to open these and you want to be surprised as to what it is, you want to get it out of the blind bag and all that crap uh, or stuff. Um... Make sure that you don't look at the sticker, hide it, then open it, and then you'll see who you got by your checklist. It's really, really cute. But I love the stickers. I keep them, and I put them in my journals. I do whatever with them, right? All right. And here we go. We have Hatchimals. Okay, so Hatchimals. Pets have escaped into Hatchtopia. Now, one heart and cute BFF poses you connect Hold, hatch, and play. Now, this one here comes with these ones, and I guess whoever's in this heart, there's two people. These connect, so these are special. Um, this is the double the hatch. Uh, I got this at my dollar store. These are new hatchy hearts, pet obsessed. Okay, so I got this at my dollar store. I'm sure you can get these at Toys R Us. Um, these are all the ones you can collect. So get a shot of that there so that you can see it. I will try to open this without hurting myself. All right, there we go. It does come with a checklist because it is a bigger thing. So here's your, there's instructions on how to open the heart and the checklist. 
Now, I've always said the one thing with Hatchimals is the writing is very tiny. So this is a little bit bigger, so I might be able to tell you who we have. Look at all those. That is crazy. We have Wild Duos, Fantasy Friends, Heartland Honeys, Forest Faves, Kitten Smitten, Puppy Love, and Tiny Pals. And then we have the free apt ones on the bottom. We have the heart duo ones. So there you go. These are the special hearts. I guess these are the limited edition. So let's get this guy out with his little friend and see who we have first. If I can get this little guy out, it's so hard sometimes. That I mean, that shows good packaging. If you, It's hard to get out in a way. So we shall get this part out because we are going to open that after. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, so he came with a little bunny. And they're glittery. So you can tell that they're very glittery. He's so cute in his little tail. And this looks like a, a hippopotas or something or a rhino, rhino something. But he's got little pink wings. And from what I remember, pink wings means uh, rare. So he's a rare one. So let's see. This one here has a snowflake on his head. Okay. So there's the snowflake. And he is... There's Ruby and Bunny. So this one is Bunny. Because he comes with a bunny, I guess. And I think that's really, really cute. Okay. And I just, I love it. I think that's adorable. So there's his little pal. Okay. And we'll put him up here so he doesn't slide off my desk. Um, and then we have this. Now, I'm going to read the instructions because I've never opened one of these before. It says hold, hatch, and play. Now, it says... First thing you do is hold it like this with your two thumbs here, right? And you, it says you rub it or you peel it. Okay. Okay. So that's a stand. So this shows you that it's a stand in the end. So you're supposed to do this, I think. I'm not sure, but you're supposed to be able to Peel it or something. I don't know. But can you? Oh, yep, yep, yep. I did it. Okay, I popped it open. Let's see what we got in here. I got my trusty garbage right beside me. Now you just push in like you do on a reg regular Hatchimals egg. And make sure all the little bits get into the garbage so mommy is not having to vacuum them up afterwards. If there are kids watching this. Okay. So the first guy we have, oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at that. So we have a common because he's got little silver wings. But isn't that adorable? So we'll have to look and see. Have to look and see who we have. It looks like a little lion. So I'm looking very thoroughly. Hopefully we find it. Because he does look like a little lion with the lion's mane. Okay. Not seeing it. Believe it or not, I'm not see. Oh, I found it. Okay, so this one's name is Puppet. So this is Puppet. So I guess it's a puppet and a kitty. Kind of mixed. Little pink belly. Little heart on its forehead cute little tail and its little silver wings. So let's see who his little buddy is. So right here we have, oh, look at that. It's a little kitty cat. It's a little tiny kitty cat to go with the bunny. Okay, so that's really, really cute. So now what we do is I'm just gonna pull the rest of this stuff off for you guys. So there you go. I'm going to pull this plastic thing out. And you can peel off the rest of the heart. And just put that in the garbage. 
up into the line. And once you do all of that, you can use it as a stand. Now you might need to get your parents to kind of help you peel off the rest of it because some of it's kind of hard to do and whatever, right? You can hurt your little fingers. And here's your stand. So then you take the stand and you stick them on there and there you go. So there you go. And then you can display it. I'm gonna get the rest of that stuff off after, but then you can display it on your shelf or you can put this little guy on here. I think I might just do that and put him on my shelf. That is adorable. So these are new. So I hope you find them. Uh, go to your local Toys R Us. I'm sure they will be at Walmart. I'm not too sure. But you can check your local toy store or go to Toys R Us .ca because I think we only I think there's only one place in the States that actually has a Toys R Us still. So but that is really cute. I love it. So I have a couple more things. First things first, we're going to open this one. This one here is one of the same as the other one. I hope we don't get a double. So hopefully, let's see. Let's see what we got. And then we have one last thing to open. Let's see who we got. Please don't be a double. Oh, it's a double. So my son will probably get this one. So it's another grape one, which is cool. But that's the good thing about blind bags. You never know what you're gonna get in them. It's a surprise for everybody. And you can trade them with your friends, right? So here you go. And the last thing we have, and yes, I have a bigger basket because I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to empty out. So there we go. This is a grocery gang. These are older. Um, if you can still find them at your Five Below or your dollar store, by all means, grab them. So from the world of the trash pack, if you guys remember Garbage Pail Kids, I think this is what... Um, influence these so i think it's super cool now this one here is a rotten soda now i buy these because i like the collector containers i have a can that's like an actual trash can that i store them in my son likes these ones it's an actual soda can it's got the bubbles and fizz on top and you can see the little window you know whatever pictures of stuff all over ingredients that are like it says here, gross up your day with more decay, more rotten and sweaty feet, earwax, rotten egg, and stinky skunk. Made from the finest sewer juice. Uh, five tooth cavity rating. So that's your ro rotten soda. So there's, five, there's three in here and you get a surprise one in the bottom. So I will try and there we go. I just had to loosen it. There you go. And you can keep this for storage to store your guys in. Now, I got some fake ones a while ago, which I gave all to my son. He he got them all, and uh, he stores them in his. So, there we go. So, now, here's our checklist. Now, these are a lengthy checklist, so you might have to give me a minute to find these guys because it's very hard to find them. Here is the checklist. Look at this. Freaking mile wide. My checklist. All right. There are, so you have the gooey breakfasts, sour dairy, barf room supplies, gross greasies, and on the back we have the untasty treats, fungus fruits, awful sauces, scummy sodas, and you have the glowing gadgets, and then you have the cruddy lost and founds. These ones are limited editions. These are ultra rares. So if you get a glow in the dark one, that's awesome. Um, so it says glowing finish. I've never gotten a glow one and I've never gotten one of the uh, limited edition ones, but I, you never know, right? One day maybe, but these, they don't make these as far as I know, they don't make them anymore. Um, I'm just gonna use my like I said, ask an adult for help. I just needed to use my knife to kind of loosen the tape. Okay, sorry about the crinkly. If you don't like that noise, I apologize. I am going as fast as I can to get it out. All right, done, done. Okay, so here we go. It looks like a little taco. So we're gonna try and find him first. Let's see if we can find him first really quickly. Do, 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 and I can't. 
is fine. Okay, so I found them. This is Toxic Taco. So, yeah, he looks a little toxic with, like, he looks like he's puking. And the sauce coming out of everywhere. Yeah, and he's squishy. Uh, this one we have is Sweaty Sports Drink. He looks a little ill, too. I'm not going to lie. He looks a little disgusting. So that's the Sweaty Sports Drink. This is the Tasteless Tabasco Sauce. Tasteless Tabasco Sauce. So it has gone bad. But I like how they put the flames on it. And he looks like he's sweating too. So, ew. Okay. Now, I didn't open the blind bag one yet, so let's see who we got. Oh, this is a different one. I've never had this one before. So give me a second. I'm going to go find them on the list. Okay, so I found the name to this guy. It's called Shonky Shaving Brush. I have no idea what shonky means, but it looks a little green and gross because last time I checked, shaving cream was white. So, yep. And he looks a little crazy. Because his eyes are both looking two different ways. So anyways, guys, I'm going to pick my faves and I'll be right back. All right. So my favorite one I'm going to have to say is Cheesecake. I think he's absolutely adorable. He's a little chef. He's got my favorite cheese in his hand, Swiss cheese. So, yeah, I really like him. And you know what? My kids get to play with the Play-Doh. I end up giving half of these to them anyway, so it doesn't matter. I do have them all collected in bins, all separated, everything else. So, you know, I am a collector of them. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments. What is your favorite toy that you saw today? And if you know the name of that squishy from Shopkins. Um, also, make sure to share this out so all of your friends can see this. Please have a wonderful, great day. God bless. Bye.